Mr. B here. Hydrocarbons may produce a variety of derivative compounds. These compounds include alcohols, ethers, organic acids, and others. In this video, I will explain how to identify a hydrocarbon derivative based on its functional group. If a functional group is located on the carbon chain, in this case, hydroxide, then the class of compound should be indicated. Since this carbon chain contains an hydroxyl group, this compound belongs to a class of compounds known as the alcohols. Naming alcohols is very similar to naming any other hydrocarbon compound. The first example, the carbon chain contains one, two, three, four carbon atoms with an hydroxyl group on the terminal carbon. This compound is called 1-butanol. In the next example, the hydroxyl group is now on the 1-2 second carbon from the end. This compound is called 2-butanol. In the third example, the compound still contains one, two, three, four carbon atoms. However, in this example, one of the carbons has been moved to a different position. The name of this compound would be 2-methyl-2-propanol. One butanol is a primary alcohol. Primary alcohols are those alcohols where the carbon containing the hydroxyl group is connected to a single alkyl chain. A secondary alcohol simply means that the carbon containing the hydroxyl group is connected to two adjacent carbon chains. And for a tertiary alcohol, the carbon containing the hydroxyl group is connected to three other carbon chains. In the next example, the functional group is represented by a, an oxygen double bonded to one of the internal carbon atoms. When carbon forms a double bond with oxygen in an organic compound, the carbon is known as a carbonyl carbon, where carbonyl carbons are those carbon atoms that are double bonded to an oxygen. Since the carbonyl carbon is located on one of the internal carbon atoms in the chain, this compound belongs to a class of compounds known as the ketones. When naming ketones, simply count the number of carbon atoms and use the O-N-E ending. This compound is known as one, two, three, three pentanone, or three pentanone. 
It doesn't matter whether or not the oxygen on the carbonyl carbon is written above the chain or below the chain. The compound is still a ketone. This, com this ketone is known as propanone. Ethers are compounds whose functional groups are simply oxygens. This is an example of an ether known as dipropyl ether. When naming ethers, if the alkyl groups connected to the oxygen are the same group, simply use the prefix di. Therefore, this compound is known as dipropyl ether. If the alkyl groups are different on each side of the oxygen atom, then name them alphabetically. In the next example, the ether has a methyl group on the left side and an ethyl group on the right side. So the name of this ether will be ethyl methyl ether. If the carbonyl carbon is located at the end of the carbon chain, then the compound belongs to a class of compounds known as the aldehydes. To name this aldehyde, simply count the number of carbon atoms, including the functional group. To name this compound, simply count the carbon atoms, including the carbon that composes the functional group. One, two, three, four, five. So this compound is known as pentanal or pentanal. It doesn't matter if the carbonyl carbon is written on the right or the left. The compound will still be an aldehyde. The name of this aldehyde is one, two, three, four, this compound is called butanal. When a carboxyl group is connected to a hydrocarbon chain, the compound is known as an organic acid. This is an example of an organic acid. This acid contains one, two, three, four carbon atoms. The name of this organic acid is butanoic acid. To write the condensed formula for this acid, simply copy the structural formula. CH3, CH2, CH2, COOH.
when an organic acid reacts with an alcohol, the resulting compound is called an ester. The functional group of an ester may be recognized as follows. C O O C. To name this ester, simply consider the acid used during its formation. The acid used during the formation of methyl ethanoate was ethanoic acid. In the next example, methanoic acid was used to produce this compound. The alcohol used during the formation of this compound contained one, two, three, four, five, six carbon atoms. So the alcohol used to produce this ester was hexanol. To name this compound, consider the number of carbons contained in the original alcohol. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this compound is known as hexyl methanoate. acid reacts with an amine. The resulting compound is an amide. This is an example of an amide compound. This amide contains one, two, three, four, five carbon atoms. The name of this amide compound is pentane amide. To write the condensed formula for this compound, simply copy the structural formula. CH3, CH2, 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 and CONH2.